the thing for me as a musician is that I was always looking for stuff that doesn't mean evolution, but revolution. When I'm talking about evolution, evolution always means that you are reacting on something that happened. Revolution means that you want to change something. And um, for, for me, that word revolution, I mean it really in a, in a good way, <laughs> so to say. Um, I thought about the brushes when I started with them totally different. Because I started with the brushes like that. Everybody knows that pattern. That one. And I learned that. That's, that was awesome. I was totally attracted to that um, tool and um, the way I could express myself through that. But the bad thing was I could play much more things with the sticks than I could do with the brushes. So I started to think about them in a totally different way. I give you a really short overview of what I was practicing then. Because I was thinking, OK, what did I do when I started with the sticks? I started with playing only quarter notes. And how can quarter notes be played with the, uh, with the brushes? It's pretty easy. You do it, you can do it in a full circular motion. But you have to think about the full circular motion could be done inwards and outwards. Now, if you listen to that, there are no quarter notes. What is missing? A pulse, accents. Exactly. So, nice to see you again. Hey. <laughs> so, accents are missing, and accents can be played with the, with the brushes in three different ways while sweeping. The first thing is while putting some pressure onto the wires. So it sounds more like that. Right. One, two, three, four. And it sounds like an ocean. If I do that until the end, everybody would fall asleep, OK? So let's try to check out how can we do it in a more staccato way. More staccato would mean like one, two, three, four, like that. So I'm doing acceleration with the brushes. It's more that kind of thing. When I'm combining both, I'm getting pressure and acceleration, and it sounds like that. So only with those three tools, it's pretty easy to play pop grooves, for example. When, when I'm playing on beat one and three only acceleration, and on beat two and four, I'm combining both motions, then it sounds like one, two, three, four. So without my microphone. One, two, three, four. Of course, you can speed that up until whatever. So if you're working with younger students, for example, if, even if I do have five or six year, year old students, that's pretty easy to do after one or two lessons, OK? So I was thinking about that in a totally different way, as I said. Not only in a full circular motion, but um, also half circular motions, linear motions, all that stuff. But that's something I described when I was at the PASIC 2011. So, um, Thanks for the invitation again for the whole PASIC team. Um, I did many things during that time. And um, I want to show you some things that can easily be done with the brushes, um, even if you don't have any background. And one movement, which is pretty cool, is if you're having the full circular motion going with the left hand, like that, and the right hand is doing a half circular motion, like that, So when I'm now accenting on beat two and four, it sounds more like a pop ballad. And I want to show it um, to you in a tune which is called From Casablanca, Windmills of Your Mind. And I'm not boring you with the whole tune because 
it's a ballad and it's really long, but I will show you only a uh, 90 second uh, excerpt out of that. And I decided to play that tune for a recording with the brushes because they deliver me the full fat backbeat sound like that. So that's something I use on that tune and directly this um, kind of pattern. So listen to that carefully and windmills of your mind is the tune. <laughs> 